All right, here we go. Welcome back, Secret Base. We are going to continue our Crusader Kings 3 uh, storyline with King Svend, the second Ulfson of Denmark. Our goal here is to try to uh, reclaim the Danela, Denmark, Norway, and England. It's been a little while, so I need to jump back in and Try and remember where we're at. Looks like I have an empty council position. My marshal. Can check for somebody. Holy cow. This dude has 20. He's my spy master at 14, but um, who else is. I have a spy master that could be 15, my son. He's not a powerful vassal, though. Um, okay, well, I'm going to reassign this guy because he's 20, which is disgusting. And then, spy master, I can make. Um, oh, she's 19. Charna, Frost Whisper. Okay, well, we can make uh, Charna our... Oh, she's our court physician. It, I wonder if she can be our spy master and our court physician at the same time. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and assign her there. Um, all right, now this guy, he's only 11. Why do I have him? Is that just to make him like me better. Let me check my factions. Okay, I don't have any factions coming up against me. So why do I have this guy, who's an 11, for stewardship, when I could have my son, who's 18? Or even this guy. Who is 16. I like my son in there. Um, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, that guy's going to hate me. Uh, okay, this guy's a powerful vassal, but he sucks. Ah, let's see, Prince Eric, my son, has 20. But he's a powerful vassal, so, which means he's not going to like getting fired. Um, but, I mean, i gotta, I got to do that. But let me see what she's got. Court politics. I'm going to set her to court politics. This is going to give me an extra six diplomacy. It's going to really help me out. See that? How his just went from negative 13 to negative five. Um, your queen can really help you out by, uh, if you if you pick one of these, you know, managed domain will help you get more money. Um, but court politics, I like if they have a high court politics. She has plus six. That gives me an extra, uh, an extra six. So you can check out now I have 10, whereas um, I would have had a base of four. <laughs> <laughs> four, four uh, diplomacy, which is probably why everybody hates me. But uh, oh, this guy's my son too, huh? It's Harold. Anyway, so she can give me plus six, and that'll really help out a lot. And then um, Prince Harold. Is there anything I can have him do? Not really. You know, he's he's going to want a position on the council. Oh, man, and he wants all these counties, too. He wants all these counties. What does he have? Uh, he's got a skullduggery focus. Oh, okay. That's nice. Um, not the best. The schemer is not really that great. So, that's not... That's not lovely. All right, well, <coughs> oh, that's what I, I want to look and see what he wants from me. He wants County of Viborg, which is where? Where is Viborg? There's, that's there. He wants that county. But that's me. I have that stuff. I'm not going to give that away because I only have four holdings. Um, so... The holdings, they give you, if, if it's your direct holding, you get 100%, 100% of the taxes and 100% of the troops from that holding. So you always want to be maxed out on your holdings. Uh, I am not, unfortunately, so that sucks, but that's okay. We'll, we'll go from there. All right, let's see what we can do. We can grant a title. Um, Prince Harold, my son, right? He's the uh, de jour holder of the county of Rinkobing. <laughs> uh, so I can, uh, it wants me to give him that because he's the de jour holder of it. Because I gave him, I must have given him this 
Alberg or something like that. So he is the du jour holder of all of these titles here, so he wants them. Uh, which is great. He, he wants them, but uh, uh, I'm not going to give them to him because then I wouldn't have any holdings. So I need to get some holdings of my own. Um, it looks like I, I don't have any more, but I can start taking over some other lands and coming over here to England. Ooh, looks like I have some land up here, Duchy of the Northern Isles. Okay. Um, but uh, when I start coming over to take over England, then I can uh, hopefully grab some titles for myself. So, let's see. I'm not endorsed by my Archbishop, so that needs to change. Let me show you something here real quick. Um, my monthly income and my total soldiers, as well as my piety, obviously, depend a lot on my Archbishop liking me. So he's negative six right now because um, I'm lustful. Minus ten there. I'm calm, which is giving me... Oh, he must be wrathful, and I'm chaste. Or no, I'm lustful. He's chaste, right? Oh, I'm wrathful. Let's see, what am I? I'm lustful, wrathful, and zealous. And so because I'm lustful and wrathful, I'm already losing 20 from him. Uh, but what we can do here real quick, I have 500 bucks, so if I send him a gift, I can pay him 50, 50 gold, and that's going to increase his opinion there. Suddenly he likes me, and um, it looks like that didn't do a ton right off the bat, but normally it does. So uh, I'm in line to inherit titles. Don't care about that. My heir is in line. Don't care about that. Powerful vassals. Yeah, I know. Do any of them have anything, though? Yeah, that's my son. He sucks. Count Schalm, you suck. You suck. You, you guys all suck, so you're not you're not getting titles. I can lawfully imprison Beta, but I only have a 37% chance. I'm not going to do that. When my vassal dies, Count Oberto, this person, Count Marco, is going to take over. Well, he's four. I'm not going to worry about that now. Unless he gets killed off, he should probably have kids, which is going to solve this problem for me. Um, all right. Active elections here. Uh, for the Kingdom of Denmark and the Kingdom of Norway. Kingdom of Denmark. Um, obviously, I kind of want my heir to be... Uh, to be... elected to all of these, so... Who else is being... Okay, so Prince Eric, somebody's voting for my other son. Two people are voting for my other son, and... Three of us are voting for this guy. Let me check this guy out. Let's see. What is he? Um, I wonder if I should make it my other son. I wonder if I can... Oops, not Norway. Let's do Denmark. Norway, he's third. Denmark, he's second. What if I change to this guy? Now he becomes second. Okay. Um, let's see. What's, what's wrong with him? Amateur, race, gish. He's also legitimized. He's cynical, sadistic. Oh, no. He's not. He's definitely not any better. <laughs> Why don't I have any good sons? Uh, oh, no. This wasn't him. This is Olaf. Let's see. Let's, let's look at Eric. Uh, he's lustful. He's generous, though. At least he has a level 3 skill there. He's gluttonous, but he's gregarious. That's okay. Just is okay. And he's strong. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I like him the best out of those three so what I'm gonna do is do that and then hopefully I can start to sway some votes here um, uh, this guy counts scalm and he's voting for my other son my other son is actually voting for my grandson. Wait, this is my heir? My grandson is my heir? He's heir to the Kingdom of Denmark. Huh. Okay. Um, well, what we're going to need to do here before I die is find a way to change this. Uh, Danish culture does not have hereditary rule. And, or to become a uh, an emperor. So if I can get the, the you know, if I can get the uh, emperor title, then it won't matter if this guy is, uh, is it, it, it doesn't matter who my heir is, I'll still be able to, they'll, they'll inherit the, uh, 
the empire and I'll be able to go from there. So let's start expanding a little bit more. I need to get some more territories here. Um, I have some stuff down here. I wonder if I can. I can declare war here. What can I do here? I can holy war here. Oh, I don't have very much faith. Uh, but I can seize Holstein. Or I can seize Lubbock, which is the same. So definitely want to do the one with less faith. Uh, I don't have a ton of troops, though. And I don't have a ton of knights. Huh, are my knights any good? Uh, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Um, my knights are okay. Um, the, the first few, they're not, they're not terrible. They're not great, though. Uh, and I have a couple of these. Um, one of the things I want to point out here, too, mangonels, you definitely want siege equipment. This is ridiculous, this extra uh, time here for when you're sieging. It will take so long to siege something down if you don't have plenty of uh, siege equipment. So onagers are um, 0.3 per day, which is okay. Uh, but the mangonels, 0.6 per day, that's freaking awesome. Keep those up. Make sure you, you have plenty of those. That's going to be great. A lot of times what I like to do is I make two two sets of these. So um, uh, so I, I would get another Men-at-Arms Regiment of Mangonels. I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, maybe later. Because then I can split that into two armies, and both the armies can have a, a really easy time there of getting stuff down. Okay, so I can take Lubbock here. Variand, I can declare war there, but it's a holy war. Oh, I actually do have enough cost, and they are vastly inferior. Now, one of the nice things about the holy war is that uh, I will get when you see when you look at this, you will seize all the territory in the realm. So I will get this area, which is good because I'm looking to get some more domain holdings. So when I take this over, I am going to get that. So we're going to go ahead and declare war on her. And then, another thing, do, you guys, do yourself a favor and go ahead and move your rally point uh, or create a new rally point that's close when, you guys, when you're doing war because uh, it's really going to help out a lot. We're going to raise our troops here. All right, let's get going. days left okay my son is now my new heir okay so that's good um, so I'm gonna siege this down real quick it looks like they're trying to probably go to my capital but I have mangonels I don't know if they do or not but I have mangonels so I'm probably gonna be able to uh, siege that down pretty fast okay my lord my spy master Charna approached me with one evening I have some remedies we could try for your insistent melancholy uh, might get a bit worse. What's my stress like? I'm not close to stress. Uh, well rested gives me stress loss plus 25%, or this gives me... I'm going to do this. I'm going to just take a long nap. I don't need that there. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. So my siege time here is 3.4 per day, where you're normally looking at like 1, 1.1 1 .1 per day. Let's see what their siege time is. Can I even see? See, theirs is 1 per day. Minus 3.4, so a lot better there. Ooh, great pox. Today I was given grave news. My son, Thor my, son, my son Thorgals has fallen ill with great pox. The future is uncertain. Death lingers closely by his bedside, yet he might survive. Only God knows. The physicians want to know how my son should be treated. Um, so great pox can probably spread pretty fast, and I don't really want that to happen. So um, let's be drastic. Um, no, let's just be cautious. He's young. Uh, okay, so he received reduced symptoms. That's great. Okay, so got that. Oh, and you know what? I captured, I probably captured somebody or something happened, so I got 100% right away. And we're going to go ahead and enforce demands. And there we go. We're done. Um, now, let's see. Can I turn these into raiders? I can't turn these into raiders, can I? Dang it. That sucks. I'll go ahead and disband them. Now I have this, another county there. That gave me almost an entire gold more of, uh, of stuff there, so that's nice. Uh, so let's see. Where are we at now? Oh, great. My son is now my new heir again. 
Okay, Liberty Faction. Factions, I've learned uh, over time, you got to be careful with these factions uh, because uh, current contract is very strict. Surely you could be a little more lenient. Seems I have a little choice. I, I don't have a choice here. Oh, he must have a hook on me. He has a hook on me, so he's going to get low taxes. Hmm. Yeah, see, using his weak hook on me, so he gets his taxes reduced. <laughs> Drops me back down below 14. All right, so um, I'm going to put this back down to 3 while, while we're looking here. Uh, this faction here, he is alone in this faction, so it's not terrible. Um, but if these factions start to build up, then they can be really bad. <laughs> you can you can start having to fight yourself um, a lot, and that's not that's never good. So, all right. So some of the things we could do here, we can um, we can grant him titles that would help out. We can modify his feudal contract, but he's already normal. Um, He's, he doesn't hate me too much. Let's see if I send him a gift, what that would do. That would give him 13 opinions. I'm not going to bring him up above there. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on that for now. Um, it looks like I'm swaying one of my other vassals. Uh, so I don't want to switch that off yet. Um, so I'm going to leave that uh, for now. Uh, okay, so this guy do, can no longer contribute to increase control in county. Um, so I have low control in Varend. So let's go ahead and send our Duke here to increase control. Uh, that's still going to happen, yeah, but he's only six years old. Okay. Uh, I can demand payment from Count Skalm. Um, oh, I can use my hook to demand payment. Does he even have any payment? He can pay me 90. I don't really need it right now. I'm going to leave that. Thorgil's my poxed son. Does he still have the great pox? Yes, he does. Well, he can get married. So let's see. How do we want to uh, arrange his marital marriage? He's not going to inherit. He's not my heir. I'm not going to play as him. So typically then I would want to go for alliance power here. Uh, so where is Fermo? Fermo is all the way down here. It's not something... Oh, that's way down there. So that's not something that I'm going to care about rating. So that sounds good to me. You can marry her. You lose a little bit there. Um, and then you have in inheritable... She, she has club foot. No, you have both club foot and the box. <laughs> so it's nice to be your wife and kids. All right, we're going to give you that. Okay. But that'll give me a, an ally down there. Allies are kind of a double-edged sword, because now I have this alliance with Count Vitale. I can call him into wars. He's pretty far away, so I probably won't call him into wars uh, too much, but... What? King Spend. I died. Okay, that was unexpected. Now I continue as King Eric, but guess what? I don't have Norway anymore. Huh. Well, that blows. I just lost all of Norway. All right, so I'm Prince Eric now. I am going to, let's see what I can do here. Oh, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Uh, diplomacy. Well, diplomacy is going to be good because I'm going to have a lot of people that don't like me very much. Um, but diplomat is not very good. Uh, I can gain 100 stress and change that. Um, well, I might need to send some gifts, actually, to get to stop some, like, liberty factions. Um, foreign affairs, that sucks. Uh Opinion is okay to have. Embassy, all right, well... Ducal Conquest, Forced vas forced Vassalization. That actually might not be too bad there. Uh, fabricate claim on county, train diplomat. What I want to do is get over here. If I'm going to be doing diplomat anyway, then I want this stuff. Um, so let's let's talk about this. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do uh, diplomat. Um, let's do, what am I, I'm 17. 
diplomacy. We could do family focus. Get some fertility. Um, get some prestige. Get some better diplomacy. I'm, I'm going to do the fertility here. I'm going to try and make some babies. Um, who is my spouse? Oh, yes. Yes, my spouse is a genius and she is quick. Um, and I am strong, which is not an inheritable trait, though. Um, okay, but I want to make some babies that are that are okay. So sh my daughter, Princess Freya, is intelligent. Uh, I need I need some more I need some more babies here. So my nephew right now is my heir, um, which I can change. I can nominate my successor. Oh yeah, that's down here. Uh, well, right now I don't really know who I want, but I don't think I want my nephew. Uh, to be well, he is intelligent too, and charming. Oh, he's only fourteen. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Can I? Who is his guardian? Let's see. His guardian is some courtier. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's remove his guardian. And let's make me his guardian. Um, so, yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll choose him for now. And we're going to... Yeah, okay. So, Prince Spend... This guy? No. It's this guy, right? Sven Knudsen of Halland. Where is he? Where are you, buddy? Here we go. We'll go ahead and, and do him to... Um, and then... Let's now... Offer guardianship, um, me to him. I want to be his guardian, um, and then uh, he, he has an education focus, which is okay. But I think I can change that now that I'm his guardian, right? Or can I only do that for my own kids? Maybe I can only do that for my own kids. Only the employer can change focus. Um. Well, I am his leech, but apparently I'm not his employer. Okay, I don't know. But uh, I can't change his focus right now, which is unfortunate. Um, oh, no, it's diplomacy. Diplomacy is good. I, I, I'll keep diplomacy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so get rid of that. Now I need to... Oh, my goodness, I lost all of my counselors. Uh, so, Valentine, my knight, is pretty good. But Count Torgelson is going to want to see on the council. He's only 14, but that's okay. That'll help a lot with him liking me more. Uh, here, stewardship. Oh! Prince Sven, you're 22. That's so amazing, but you're not powerful vassal. But he's only 11. He's literally half of Sven. So I'm going to go ahead and use Sven there. Marshall, let's see. You're only 10. Mar oh, 18. You're only 11. And Marshall, too. And Mayor Helg is 18. And Sigbjorn 16. Uh, this is my brother. Um, remember the dynasty. He is actually the dynasty head. Uh, it's important to try and get this, the powerful vassals uh, onto your... You, get, you know, you get bonuses for them being powerful vassals, but honestly it's better to have a higher skill. Um, especially if I'm going to be going to war and and also you know the county control tasks those are those are critical if you're going to be uh, you, you know if you're going to be doing war and stuff so okay um, so let's look at Denmark what are my actual holdings I have oh I have all of this stuff that my brother wants oh I didn't make very good decisions there so I have this and this and I am what are my titles 
I am. I hold the petty kingdom of Skane and the petty kingdom of Skaland. So that's good that I have those two counties there. Um, but these other counties, they're not. They're not part of my territory. Okay, so. Um, so I need to conquer some territory, and then I need to give this to my brother. Uh, but I just lost a huge chunk of my army. My bishop doesn't like me. Um, what can I do to make him like me? Let's see. Uh, I'm lustful. He doesn't like that. I'm gluttonous. He doesn't like that. Um, so not much I can do. I'm a foreign culture. Uh, and I have a short reign. Uh, can I send you a gift? That'll give me 39. Oh, that'll just barely put me positive. That's awesome. Forget her. I don't care about that. I can create a cadet branch. Um, cadet branch. Oh, this will make me the head of my own dynasty. What do I get? Um, I can just do that automatically. Yeah, let's go for it. So now I'm of House Sterlung. And does that mean that I get to choose my focus here? No. I just am my own house. Oh, I am the culture head. So I do get to choose. Okay. What am I working on now? I'm working on battlements. Battlements sounds good. 27 years. Okay, let's check out the wars. Do I need to do anything here? Not yet. I am 100% stressed, um, so maybe I do need to do something here. Uh, let's host a feast, make some people like me, and lose some stress. Okay, what can I declare war on? Um, Holy Roman Empire, don't think I probably want to do this. Yeah, they have a lot more people than me. Um, I can do Prussia. Don't think I really want to do that either. Plus, I don't have... Oh, I have negative piety. Um, what's left? Belicia. Um, I can get this. They have similar. This might be an okay fight. If I can call in some allies. Uh, all my only allies count Tortles. I don't have any of these alliances that I built up either. Um, he definitely does. So... Um, I wonder if, no, because I'm going to want, actually, I'm probably not going to want that stuff, am I? Maybe I can get an alliance here. No, I can't marry anybody. Oh, there's my daughter. No, he doesn't have anybody. Okay, um. So that's not going to work. And then, of course, I can declare war on him. But he also has more people than me. Okay, so we're going to have to work on some other stuff here. Um, getting some claims. I'm going to want to get some claims somewhere where I can where I can get some stuff. Lapland, maybe. Oh, they're pretty good. Dang. What is, what is Norway looking like? I can claim all of Norway. And he's inferior. Oh, man. But I need 135 and 126. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna work on getting that. That's what we're gonna work on doing. Welcome, friends. We're gonna work on getting Norway back. And this is gonna give me it right here. Um, she's gonna lose opinion of me, but uh, but that's gonna give me the 150. What does household efforts do? Let's see real quick. Direct vassal opinion plus five. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the 150 um, prestige because that's going to give me enough to declare war for all of Norway. Yes. Okay. Count Torgals gains 15 opinion of you for 10 years. Oh, that's nice. Cool. All right. Here we go. I'm declaring war. Um, I'm going to move my rally point. Um, I'm going to keep it central because I have a feeling they're going to come after my capital. Uh, so if I need to get some uh, mercenaries or anything, uh, it's going to be good if that's close. Uh, I'm going to get 150 more. Okay, good. All right.
got my armies here. Let's start start plowing our way through Norway. We need to get that back. That was an unfortunate loss that we had there. Are they at war or anything? Anybody else? No. They don't have any allies either. Alright, so we have our mangonels, which is helping with our siege. Our siege, what, what's it at on this one? 3.4, so that's really good. Um, in fact, once we're done with this war, I'm going to get... I'm gonna get that last. I'm four out of oh, I'm four out of eight. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase this. Let's see, it costs 88. I'm gonna wait because I may have to hire some mercenaries, so I want to keep my I keep my gold. go moving on to the next one this barony um, so what I need to do is I need to watch for their troops because eventually their troops are gonna come down somewhere oh, faction 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 so Liberty faction now um, another Liberty faction this one is faction to install Duke Harold um, and then I have this faction popular wrist faction so these factions Let's see where we're at here. Uh, discontent is zero, and the monthly change is minus three, so that's good there. And same with that one. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be okay there. Uh, okay, so uh, daughter. Yeah, I like the name Dagmar for my daughter. That sounds like a really beautiful name. But what I really need is a son. So how about we get working on that instead? Huh? Okay. I became the new dynasty head. So now, no, I was already the dynasty head. No, this is the culture head. Now I was, I, I became the new dynasty head. Took it over from my brother. Okay. That is a neutral army, neutral army. Okay, those, those guys are not targeting me, so that's okay. There we go. Um, I kind of want to speed it up, but I don't really, because I don't want to miss anything if they start coming after me I have to quickly hit the pause button all right got this barony let's go over to this barony we're gonna come up and around I'm gonna hit this one and then I'll go straight for their capital the capital is gonna be the most important important one hey my stewards excellent stewardship skill see Prince spend I knew I had you for a reason and now this faction disbanded okay so that's good yeah, if those factions sit at zero percent and they're losing for too long, then they're not gonna they're not gonna keep going. Okay, that one hit one more barony, and then okay, so here they come. Are they gonna go? Okay, they're gonna start trying to take that back over again. I'm okay with that. They can do that because I'm going after their capital. I can ransom some prisoners. I can call in my dynasty member. How much is that gonna cost me? Uh, he would not. He would not come anyway. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, I'm not doing a, I'm not doing an increase opinion thing. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, Count Skjalm, Skjalm, who hates me. Um, he, oh, he hates me for that. We can fix that, buddy. We can fix that. Oh, never mind. We can't fix that. All right. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, he keeps challenging me. He is what? He is paranoid, diligent, and greedy. Uh, so ignore him, uh, steal his ideas, mock his bothersome nature. Uh, okay, so this one is if he's unassertive, lethargic, or unambitious. Mm, I think that's the case. Self-conscious or cares about what other things. He is paranoid, so I'm going to mock him because he's paranoid. Oh, great. My constant s snide comments about Count Skjalm's uh, really seem to have gotten to him. Cruel, but 
had to be done. And I get a hook <laughs> on Count Skelm, which means I could actually change his. Uh, I can I can uh, change his his contract again and make it extortionate. No, I can't because it's already been changed. Okay, well that's all right. But I do have a powerful hook on him now. Um, I wonder if there's anything that I can do to make him like me. Uh, what about my brand new daughter? No, that's not going to do anything. Okay. Um, forget about that for now. Uh, I am going to get a new perk. Now, um, I kind of want the forced vassalage perk down here. That's two more. Or I can do the befriend and the groomed to rule. So if I do, if I do the groomed to rule, my, my kids automatically receive one to three extra skill points, which is great. Um, hopefully if I can get a son to take over for me, uh, then that'll be even better. Um, the, befriend, the befriend scheme is really good because if I can start befriending people now, once I get down here to friendly council, each friend gives me two random skill points. So if I can get, you know, five, six, seven friends, then that would be, that would be good. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do the befriend scheme, and I'm gonna start this one increase opinion. Yeah, Prince Harold really has a low opinion of me. Um, but let's let's see. Let's instead of doing the this scheme, let's try to befriend him instead. Let's see what that would be. Let's see what my percentage chance is here. Eighty-four percent. Okay, so we're gonna start that because I want to make some friends. All right, still going. My siege is one. Now I'm going to come up here. They are coming up behind me. Um, but this, the capital here is the most important. And when you capture the capital, you have a chance of capturing the king. And if I capture the king, then I automatically get 100% and I win the war. All right, so it looks like they finished there and now they've come up. That's fine. Gray Eminence. Yes! All right. This is great. So Count Svend, if, if I end up playing as Count Svend, who's my heir, he he just got uh, Gray Eminence, which is a, a level 4 diplomacy skill. Um, gives him plus 8 diplomacy. Um, and, and then increases his monthly lifestyle experience by 40%. So, uh, so that's awesome. Um, in, in case I end up playing as him, in case I don't have a son, that's really nice to have. So that's good. And he's intelligent too, so that's nice. All right, so what happens here? Okay, so here it is. I took my foe King Sigurd hostage. So luckily I was able to take him hostage, which means I automatically get 100%. Uh, I can enforce my demands. And now I am, once again, the King of Norway. Who do I want to take over uh, Norway? I can have my daughter, um, but let's actually, I want my heir to be both of them. So where is he? Here he is. I want him to be the ruler of both. Um, so we're going to have to get him to like us, and we're going to have to get other people to like us so that we can do that. All right, so that makes a huge difference. I'm back up to 3,700 troops, which is much better. It's going to make uh, going to war against other people a lot easier. Um, I didn't gain any uh, any extra territory for myself, but any holdings for myself, but that's okay. All right, but I did take some uh, prisoners. I already selected that. Uh, Princess Ing Ing Ingebjorg. Um, okay, let's see. Duke Otter, yeah. Countess Thorberg, yeah. Let's, let's do that. I can lawfully imprison Gertrude because she's a fornicator. No, thanks. Good deal. Getting some more money. Uh, okay. My rival Finn has accused my sister Sigrid of having an affair with Gerald Lamo. I'm already negative on piety, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is going to give me some... Uh, this is going to help her like me more. And um, that's going to be okay. And my sinful act comes at a cost, but I'm already negative piety, so whatever. 
Greetings, King of Denmark. I accept your ransom. Perfect. Uh, my sister-in-law, I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to lose. Um, if my vassal dies, Count Oberto, then I'm going to lose this to Corsica. <sighs> King Malcolm. From Scotland? King Malcolm of Scotland is now has a oh a claim on this Sutherland up here um, he has a lot of troops so that's not good um, okay so I am overly stressed what I'm gonna do um, well, I'm gonna go to a brothel Uh, the letters and gifts I worried about all seem to have reached my brother Prince Harold because he's finally responded. Uh, scheme power minus 10. Come on now. Again, I'm not endorsed by my Archbishop. <laughs> of course. Uh, can I send him another gift or is it too late? It's too... I can't... Oh, actually, this one's going to give me 39. The other one gave me like 23. So I'm going to do that instead. Nope. I didn't. didn't. It helped by a little bit, but not by much. Um, so what I'm going to have to do probably is... Have him... Ah, I can do that. I can have him educate. Will this do anything? No. I can have him educate my daughter. And that he will eventually gain opinion of me. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, so that's working on that. Um, I'm working on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working on that as soon as I can get some more holdings. So let's see what I can do. I can declare a bunch of wars. I can do Iceland, Iceland, Lapland. I can do Lapland. What can I declare war on Lapland for? Oh, it's a holy war. I don't, I, I can't do a holy war for anything. Um, I can declare here. Again, holy war. What about here? Do I have claims on any of this stuff? Nope, this is all Holy Wars. Actually, this dude... I can propose alliances with these guys, too. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Um, Sweden. Okay, I can I can go to war with Sweden. He'll probably kick my butt. But I can go to war with him. I can go to war with... Alicia down here again. Take this county, which is de jour belonging to me anyway. Um, that'd be nice. That'd give me my sixth holding, which would work out really well. Uh, and he does have some allies, but they are inferior to me. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to declare that war there. All right. Oh, where's my empty council position? Let's pause for a second. Um, my steward. Steward, 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 Count Skjalm. Um, he's no longer a powerful vassal? I thought he was a powerful vassal. He's not. Uh, what's his de jure? Duchy? He doesn't like me because I hold his de jure duchy. That would make him like me a little bit more. Um, he's not much worse than my knight here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it didn't help a ton. All right, betrothed can marry. This is my sister. She can marry some guy, some vassal. In my room. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Now I have an alliance with that dude. Uh, Charna. Isn't this my wife? No, my sister-in-law. My brother's wife. She doesn't like me very much either. Man, nobody likes me. But that's typically what happens when you, uh, when you take over succession. Nobody likes you at the beginning. You have to work on making everybody like you. Alright! Prince Harold's gonna become my friend. So, boom. There we go. Now, Prince Harold is my friend. Uh, I think I can check out here. Um, 
where my friends are. My friend, he hates me, <laughs> but he's my friend. So isn't that nice? Um, okay, cool. So my befriend scheme worked. Let's pick somebody else to become my friend. Um, Count Sven is my heir. I could make him my friend. What would that? That's 100%. 100% he's going to become my friend, so that's perfect. Okay, let's grab our troops here. Uh, so, when you're when you're waging war... Oops, don't go that way. Uh, drifting apart. King Eric, my brother and friend Prince Harold, smiles. For you to murder, I feel like there is no friendship less... I didn't murder anybody! Okay, no. Give, give, give us a second chance there, buddy. All right. When you're going to war, one of the things um, I wanna wanna mention real quick, uh, one of the most important things that you can do to gain war score is to hold the contested land. So this is the contested land here, uh, the um, the county of Lubbock. Uh, and so if I hold this contested land, that is going to uh, up the war score a lot for me. So that's the that's the first thing that you want to do when you're when you're declaring war. Second is you don't want to lose your capital <laughs> because for a couple reasons. But number one, y you could become uh, imprisoned if they take your capital, uh, unless you're with your army, which I may be with the army. I don't know. Um, uh, but if they take your capital, then uh, they could take you. But they also get a huge war score for doing that. Have you just received the most disturbing news? My hysterical rival Finn has been spreading false rumors about me to Sven, my heir, claiming that my desire to earn his trust is nothing but a cynical attempt to exploit him. All right, 100% I persuade Sven, but it does cost me 13 stress. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that chance. It's 100%. So he, I gained 75 prestige and. Uh, it's going to work out pretty well for me. Okay, another thing here to, to look at when you're doing a war. Um, see how this is uh, This is kind of lined? He only has 143 people, which is not enough to siege my fort. So because he doesn't have enough to siege my fort, he's just sitting there. <laughs> he's not doing anything. The AI does this sometimes. It's kind of stupid. Um, they really should change it, uh, but they don't have enough soldiers to actually seize because he has a smaller force than my garrison. So he's just going to sit there and lose soldiers. Uh, and it's not going to do anything. All right, so I have befriended Sven. So that's two friends. That's good. Um, now let's let's work on getting another friend here. Um, what about Duke Colbane? He's my vassal. Let's see let's see what we can do about befriending him. There's only a 54 percent chance there. Uh, what about this guy? 39 percent chance. Uh, my vassal, my vassal, my steward. I wonder if because he's my steward and because I have a hook on him. I wonder if I could befriend him better. A 0% chance. Wow. Okay. 0% chance there. Well, what about Count Torgles? Count Torgles, he likes me. So that's a 41% chance. Still not very much. Um, I can't even befriend him. Oh, because he's a uh, 11. <laughs> can't befriend an 11-year-old. Okay, here we go. This guy, Count Ragnar. I'm gonna befriend him. So this this is kind of a kind of a I wouldn't say like a like a cheat, but it's it's kind of a, a, a way to get lots of stats. Uh, because if I can get the more friends I can get, then once I get that uh, that uh, perk, then all of a sudden I get two skills per friend, which is awesome. All right, so I just took his capital. That gave me a huge bump, right? So you can see here, I am occupying uh, counties, 52%. I'm occupying their capital, which is 10%. Uh, and then attacker controls war target, which is 15%. So that's really nice there. All right, I uh, need a new marshal. Who's good? This guy's good. Prince Harold, he wants to be a vassal. I'm going to go ahead and make him that. That's 11 to 16. That's okay. I'm going to do it. Uh, what am I at after that? I'm at 100%. So we're going to go ahead and enforce our demands. And boom, now I got Lubbock. So be it. Guess what, Prince Harold? You now have a new assignment. You're going to give me some control in Lubbock. It's going to take you 10 years because you suck. But that's okay. 
All right, what are my issues now? Low counter kind of control, I'm definitely doing that. Uh, ooh, and a new perk, perfect. One more step here. Um, confidants, each friend adds 5% stress uh, loss, negative 5% stress gain. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we have a dangerous faction now. Uh, so see this one here, there's six, oh my goodness, this is lower crown authority. There's six of them. Their discontent is at 100%. So I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't watching this, and they've gotten up to 100%. Now, there's a couple of ways uh, that you can stop this from happening, even though it's at 100% right now. Um, we're going to try and stop it. Okay, let's see. Uh, my brother Thorgals has been quarreling with my brother Niels. How can Sherlock? Okay, let them out, set, sort it out. No fighting in the family. I'm going to enter the room there. We're going to room Thurgold's face. I'm glad you're here, Eric. Won't you please talk some sense into your brother Niels? He's being completely unreasonable. 73% uh, here if I do you're both acting like children. I don't really want to get stressed, so I could I could take one of their sides, but I don't really want to get stressed. Uh, and I do want them to gain opinion of me, so this gives me 73% chance there. Um, all right, so 100% here. Here's what we're going to have to do. A couple, a couple things we can do, a couple ways. Basically, we, we need to stop them from joining the faction, which means we need to we need to increase their opinion of us. I can do that by sending gifts. That's going to give him 99%, so he's probably going to drop off the faction. But Count Svend here, um, who's my heir, jerk, he is the, um, he has the most. He has 36% of the troops in this faction. And so if I can get him to... Uh, to like me, then then that's going to take away almost the whole faction. Uh, so there's a couple ways I can do this. First of all, does he have any kids? He doesn't have any kids, so I can't um, I can't do an alliance. Um, I can send him a gift, which will help do 39%. I can also put him on the council. Um, where do I want to put him? Um, I don't want to put him where there's somebody else in here. Count Skalm. See, this guy's, he's on there too. Um, so if I remove him from the council, I'm going to lose 20 automatically. I can put him in as my spy master. He's got terrible. Oh, he's got 21 diplomacy? All right, Count Torgals. You, my friend. Are you even a powerful vassal? Okay, I'm going to... Do count spend because that immediately is going to give me he's, he's going to think positively of me he still I still hold his du jour duchy so I could give him his duchy um, I could also force him to convert to Catholicism um, see if I can modify his contract I can modify his contract which is going to Bring that down 15 more. So let's go ahead and do that. If I also protect his title, then that will give him plus 5. So let's do that. That's going to make him 49. And then what else can we do? Well, let's let's see how that works out. He's plus 49. Now that guy, um, let's see. I have a hook on him. So I can imprison him. Still only a 40% chance, and as an act of tyranny. Lose 20 opinion, 33 stress. Okay, so let's not let's not imprison him. Um, I can demand his conversion, which only gives him a 30% chance to accept. Now let's let's see about this guy. Um, I can't send him a gift because he wants 375 gold. What the heck? Um, how much does he hate me? 36 and it is because of high taxes can I modify his contract yes okay so that helps I, I can also protect his title ah no I can't can't modify the contract okay never mind um, what about Duke Otter Duke Otter wants a seat on the council well you suck at everything Duke Otter so I don't know about that Uh, 
um, Duke Sigurd. Let's see, Duke Otterd can't send you a gift because you want 450. Holy cow, what do you want? You want 150. That's going to give you, that's going to make you positive. Um, you are a title claimant uh, for the Kingdom of Norway. Okay. Sorry. Um, okay, so these other guys here. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see. I can arrange a marriage. Let's try... I got some daughters now. Ooh, I have my sister-in-law. Can get married. No, that's not going to work. Um, my daughter... Okay, my daughter... Can marry... Him. They're related. But it would give me an alliance. Um... Shoot, I don't want to do that. My daughter's a freaking genius. Um, but it would give me an alliance, and that would kick him out. Uh, so I'm going to do that. What about this guy? Let's see. Arrange marriage here. I should I should actually be okay now. Oh, and I can marry her off to him. I should actually be okay now. Let's see. Let's see how these these things happen and see see what happens here so we're going to unpause we are going to wait for a little bit got an alliance there which is great so he can no longer be on my uh on that faction okay so let's take a look i'm going to go back to the faction here and take a look at what's going on there's still f these guys are still members he's a hundred percent opinion of me and he's still a member of my faction um, Count Sven is 53. Okay, well, this might help out my opinion of me as well. So let's go to the party here. Okay, good. So Count Sven just left, um, which means that they're down way. Uh, okay, good. And now the monthly change is going down. They're too weak to send an ultimatum, and the monthly change is going down. So we saved ourselves that. They had 176 fat military power, which means... That, that would have been very difficult. I would have had to hire. They would have. They would have taken a huge chunk out of my military, and then I would have had to hire mercenaries and stuff to reclaim that. So, okay, feast is dwindling. I find myself with Egil. He uh, inquires about my opinion on court politics. Um, grow closer to. Okay, good. I want to be a friend, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. Okay, and then Count Ragnar becomes my friend. Awesome. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and befriend this guy because he likes me 100%. But I still only have a 76% chance. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Um, let's see. My friend goes on and on about court dalliances. Or court alliances, not dalliances. I'm going to get... No, no, please go on. Had an interesting, I had an interesting conversation. It's actually pretty good. It gives you plus one diplomacy and plus one learning. Um, and since I am diplomatic uh, based, that's going to be good. All right, and the other guy left too, so we're going down. We're going down quite a bit there. Farewell, my friend, Count Ragnar. I lose 117 stress because I'm cluttonous and gregarious. Outstanding. <laughs> uh, actually, because I'm gluttonous, usually you, I can make the decision here to lose weight. Is there... I don't have the option here to lose weight, but if I get fat... Then I can lose weight. All right, court physician. Do I have a court physician? Um, where do I check? Oh, my court. I don't have a court physician. Let's try and find a physician real quick. Um, let's see. Somebody wants to ransom. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, I'll take fifty. Experienced diplomat. Yeah, you would be great. But right now, I have to keep idiots in there. Oh, Charna, she's freaking awesome. Can you be my physician? Yes. All right. Thank you. Much better. Okay, prisoners. I have Yera as a prisoner. Hmm. Okay. Befriend, gesture of generosity. I should be able to uh, to help along my attempt to befriend Duke Svein by presenting him with a gift. Uh, finding the perfect gift for someone can show can truly show how much they care about them. So, 150 gold, uh, but I lose some stress and 
have Magnificent Gift, which gives me plus 20 plus scheme power. I'm going to do it. I spent a lot of money on gifts on uh, gifts earlier, which is why we're, we're low now. But All right. Uh, that's good. Um, so what I'm going to probably try to end up doing, I can't declare war right now on him because I have a truce, but if I can move this way a little bit, um, gain some more counties for myself... I don't really want to move that way though because I want to come over to England. If I can gain some more counties for myself, then I could start giving back this duchy to my brother, who it's his du jour territory, so he'll like that. Um, all right. Of course, this Finn guy again is spreading these rumors. Now I have a hundred percent chance, but I'm going to gain thirteen stress. I'm out of stress right now, so that's okay. And I gain seventy-five prestige. Okay, well, that is going to wrap up our session today. Uh, we died unexpectedly, and then we were able to take back Norway again. We were able to stop a scheming faction against us. Um, oh, now we have a new faction against us. Uh, but we were able to stop a scheming faction before they were able to declare war on us, which is always good. Uh, so that's good. In the next episode, we are going to try to start moving over into England uh, territory. If we can take over England, we don't have to take Scotland, Wales, you know, Ireland, any of that. But if we can just take over England, then, and I have a claim on the whole of England, and they are inferior. So this is going to be perfect. Next time, we are going to take England, and then we are going to restore the Dane law is going to be our our uh, one of our decisions here. All right. Diera. Lancaster. Which is right next to it. East Anglia here. Essex here and Mercia here. Oh, so really I only need this right here. Uh, but cool. I like it. So, we are going to work on that in the next episode. Thanks for joining us here on the Secret Base, and we will see you next time.